hello students in previous class we have done till food pipe or esophagus of human digestive system so today i will start or continue with the same chapter the same topic the human digestive system of human and i will start from stomach so now we will start now stomach the stomach is a j shaped bag like structure made of muscle it receives food from the food pipe because the food pipe connect mouth to the stomach and whatever food is taken in by mouth is is go uh, is a uh, uh, is received by the stomach with the help of food pipe already we know this so stomach receives food from the food pipe or esophagus and at one end and opens into the small intestine at the other end now the stomach secretes mucus gastric juice and hydrochloric acid again i'm repeating the stomach secretes mucus gastric juice and hydrochloric acid now what are the functions of these three like the mucus it protects the lining of the stomach and gastric juice gastric juice contains an enzyme which is called pepsin which breaks down proteins into simpler substances and third one is hydrochloric acid this acid you know present in the stomach and it always help in killing the microbes and also it provides an acidic medium for effective digestion so these three what are these three mucus gastric juice and hydrochloric acid present in the stomach now after stomach the next part is small intestine now small intestine is the longest part of the digestive system and it is about 7 7.5 meter long in length it is too long and small intestine is the portion where the digestion ends because digestion starts in the mouth and ends in the small intestine basically in the digestion only three parts of the uh, of the digestive tract take place one is mouth second is stomach and third is small intestine now small intestine the food is mixed with bile juice and pancreatic juice one is bile juice and second is pancreatic juice these are secreted like bile is secreted by the liver and pancreatic juice is secreted by pancreas and both these juices means bile juice and pancreatic juice they help in the digestion now how bile juice breaks down the larger molecules of fat into smaller droplets pancreatic juice breaks down starch into simple sugar proteins into amino acid and fats into fatty acids and glycerol again i will repeat pancreatic juice breaks down starch into simple sugar then proteins into amino acids and fats into fatty acids and glycerol now the last part organ of the digestive tract that is not tract digestive system that is the last large intestine it in large intestine digestion does not take place digestion completed in small intestine only but the large intestine always help in the absorbing water whatever water is there and it removes it help in the removing of undigested solid waste now the large intestine is about 1.5 meter in length like small intestine you do remember it is 7.5 meter long and large intestine is only 1.5 meter in length and the large intestine it mainly have three parts one is cecum colon rectum again i am repeating 
cecum, colon, and rectum. And large intestine, again, I want to repeat, large intestine never take part in the digestion. Digestion always and in small intestine. But whatever leftover water, excess water is there and undigested solid waste is there. That large intestine help in their removal. How? Like the solid waste which is there in the body, it is in the form of feces which comes out from the body to anus. Now, anus. What is anus? Simply, the anus is a part through which the semi-solid feces are thrown out or comes out from the body. So this is all about the digestive system of human beings. Now we will learn most important thing that are the digestive glands. Now there are three digestive glands. One, salivary gland. Second, liver. And third, that is pancreas. First, we will go for salivary gland. We all know salivary glands are present inside our mouth. And there are three pairs of salivary glands. They secrete saliva, which contains amylase enzyme and which converts starch into simple sugar. Second gland is liver. Liver is the largest gland which is present in human body. And it secretes bile juice which is stored in the gallbladder. And do remember the functions of this juices already we have discussed when we were discussing small intestine. All functions are, uh, are uh, there and you can learn from there already I have underlined for you. Now next is pancreas. Pancreas is a leaf-like gland which is located just below the stomach and it secretes pancreatic juice into small intestine. So these three are what? These three are digestive glands. These three are digestive glands. Number one, salivary gland. Number two, liver. Number three, pancreas. So now we will go for the next one. Our next is the digestive system of ruminants. Now ruminants is simply, what is the simply the, uh, the animals which eat grass, which uh, that are known as ruminants, means herbivores are known as ruminants. They generally have a broad mouth with broad front teeth. We all know ruminants like buffaloes, goats, sheep, camels. These all are ruminants. Ruminants have a special stomach. Why special stomach? We all know like in human beings, in most of the animals, we are having only one stomach. But in ruminants, they have four chambers in their stomach. Number one is known as rumen. Number two is known as reticulum. And number three is omasum. And the last one is abomasum. First, we will go for the rumen. Now you can see I'm sharing a picture or diagram of four-chambered stomach of cow. Four-chambered stomach of cow. Now first one is rumen. The first one is rumen. Now what is rumen? This is the largest chamber of the stomach. Largest chamber of the stomach because it mainly used for storing food. And second is reticulum. Now you can see reticulum. Now reticulum is the part of the, st of the st chamber of the stomach where the cut from the rumen enters and return to the mouth for thorough chewing. Means whatever cud. Now you will say what is cud? Cud is the partially digested food. Because when the 
animal when the animal start eating grass or leaves that animal gulps down and is directly goes to the rumen where it is collected then at the time of rest when this animal sit down and simply again from their rumen it comes back to the mouth for chewing now this is because when it starts chewing so it becomes partially digested that is known as cud that is known as cud so the cud from the rumen enters into the reticulum where it is returned for to, to the mouth for thorough chewing means to complete the chewing and then again this cow or uh, will gulp down the food now it will go to the omasum now again it will go to the omasum the reach you follow food this time bypasses the chamber of omasum now omasum is the smallest chamber of the stomach like rumen was the largest chamber of the stomach the, and omasum is the smallest chamber of the stomach and the last is which is the true stomach is oba obamasum now abomasum is is true stomach because here the gastric juices are secreted there the ju gastric juices are secreted so that's why it is known as true stomach now here enzyme acts upon the food and digestion is completed the digested food now moves to the small intestine where absorption of nutrients take place and the whole digestion completes like this now here there are the two steps which are involved in the digestion among ruminants number one very important listen very carefully the ruminants first swallow the food stored in the rumen which is the chamber or the part of the stomach in rumen the food is partially digested that's why known as cud cud is what partially digested food then this cud goes again to the reticulum and where it is returned to the mouth for rest of the chewing and this process means eating cud is called ruminating that's why these animals are also known as ruminant that's why these animals are also known as ruminant now you can see i have written here learn this homework is for learning that is actually a summary of the chapter so you will go through this and you will learn properly so i think for today this is enough now rest we will go in the next session so have a nice day and be safe goodbye